One of the first things that filmmakers learn is to use wide exterior shots like these to give the audience some context to set the scene. But until recently, I didn't really appreciate how much these shots could influence the final product. So I thought I'd head outside to see which filmmaking techniques work outdoors and how these shots can impact the story we're trying to tell. Here's what I've got with me. A camera, lens, microphone, filters. That's all on a ball head and that's on a tripod equivalent. I've also got one new place to explore and the rest of the day set aside for filming. Now the big question is how do we represent what we're seeing to the audience? For example, I might just want everything to look as good as possible, in which case I'd use my ND filter if it was bright outside so I could choose the best looking aperture setting. And when there are reflections on leaves, I'd use my circular polarizer filter and spin it until those reflections are cut, leaving us with richer greens. Here's a before and after. And the polarizer works for the sky as well, if I wanted a darker blue, although bear in mind it does depend on which way you're facing, it doesn't always work. But usually our goal isn't to make everything look as beautiful as possible, we're actually trying to tell a story. So for example, if we filmed this, the mood is tranquil, still. But by simply using different sound effects and repositioning the camera so it's closer to the floor, it reveals what was going on in the foreground. And now it feels like a bustling city centre rather than a deserted town. These are the kinds of choices that affect the way that our films are perceived, and I think in a deeper way than just whether you decided to use a filter or not. We could take it further with a shot like this. All I did was find loads of people, set the camera as far away as possible, and then zoom in, which compresses them into a sea of bobbing heads, making it feel even more busy. So we can make things look nice with filters, and we can use the camera position to control how the audience sees what we're filming. But I think there's something deeper that's actually quite easy to overlook. What are we actually filming? Imagine that I made a film that started like this. It's a dark alley. We've got graffiti. Words that spring to mind for me are crime, grunge, danger, grease. Or we could go for this. It makes me think quaint, picturesque, relaxed. Now, did those feelings come from the angle of the camera or the filters that I used? I don't think so. I think they were there in the location before I was. Because when we're trying to establish a location or get some B-roll for a documentary, I think a lot of it just comes down to walking around, finding the right spots to film. Do we go for the busiest parts of town or the quiet? Do we film the tourists or the locals? We could choose to film these wires outside a dingy takeaway or a nicer looking pub with a little girl walking in front. And each represents this place very differently. And yet they were literally just a stone's throw apart. See, I used to get so caught up with which filmmaking techniques will make a scene feel a certain way. But at the end of the day, the techniques are usually used to bring out what's already there in the script, the location, or the person you're interviewing. Sure, the techniques are powerful when they're used in the right way, but it doesn't matter how the painter holds their brush if they don't have any paint. My name's Simon Cade, this has been DSLR Guide, and I'll see you next week.